In today's video, I want to introduce a trend indicator on TradingView that perfectly helps you with identifying trending and non-trending market. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search Koro Toga. We add both of these indicators to our chart, the cloud and the histogram, and both of them are written by the same person, D7R. Alright, as you can see, the indicators are added to our chart, one in the form of a histogram here below the chart, and the cloud is overlaid on the price chart. This indicator indicator is built based on Ichimoku Cloud Indicator and RSI and by some special calculations and removing extra noises it tries to show a reliable picture of trend in the market. Since we want to use this indicator for identifying longer term trend of the market not just every short term movement of the price. So we go to the settings of the indicator and here for the length we set it at 34 and for the offset we decrease it at 1 and similarly for the histogram we go to the settings of the indicator and for the length we set it at 34. All right now both of the cloud and histogram are with the same settings and let's see how we interpret them. Whenever you see the price above the cloud like here, here, here and also here it shows advancing of the price and if you pay attention you can see that the cloud is completely green and also in the histogram we have only the histogram above zero and green. We don't see any red bar in the other side. In this situation where the cloud is green when the price goes inside the cloud like here in this part, here, here, or here, that shows flat market or pullback during trends. And if you pay attention, you can see that in this situation, here the upper line of the cloud becomes red. And we have this changing of the color to red since the time that the price enters into the cloud. And also in the histogram in the same period, we have red bars appearing on the other side. And actually we have both of green and red bars at the same time. This shows flat market or pullback. So when the price is above the cloud and the cloud is completely green and also in the histogram you only see green bars this shows that the price is advancing in an uptrend but when the cloud is not completely green and we have the upper band in red and also in the histogram we don't have it completely green and we have both of green and red bars at the same time this shows flat market or pullback in these situations the price is inside the cloud as I mentioned earlier both of these indicators are giving the same information but in a different way and just for a better illustration I added both of them to the chart so you can completely understand this indicator all right on the other hand when the price is below the cloud and the cloud is completely red it shows the price is declining in a downtrend also here in the histogram we have only red bars in the situation but in times that the price goes inside the cloud the lower band of the cloud becomes green as you can see and also in the histogram we have green bars appearing on the other side and this shows flat more or pullbacks during trends. This situation of having the price inside the cloud and having the cloud and histogram in two colors can also be the starting point of reversals like here or here at this point, which in both of these cases we had flat market before reversal. So whenever we have the cloud or histogram in two colors at the same time, which in this situation the price is inside the cloud, this is telling us that the market is not trending, which could be either a flat market or pullback before further continuation of the price in the prior trend or a reversal may happen. So when you're working with the cloud, you must pay attention to two points whether the price is moving outside of the cloud or inside of the cloud. When the price is outside of the cloud, the market is trending and when the price is inside the cloud, the market stopped trending which could be either flat market or pullback. And the color of cloud and histogram also help you with this visually as I explained earlier. The complete color changing of the cloud or histogram which is when the price crosses to the other side of the cloud completely can also be used as a reversal signal but you shouldn't rely only on this and this should be used in conjunction with other indicators or aspects of technical analysis for more confirmation. The best use case of this indicator is trend following strategies where you need to identify trending and non-trending market and then entering a trade in the pullbacks in the current trend of the market. In a separate video I'll teach you a trend following strategy based on this indicator so make sure you won't miss it. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.